Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. So I decided to do a guide of the skill champas, where they are, level requirements, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the guide, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Alright, so the first champa that you can catch is a cobalt skill champa. It requires 2700 to catch, and there are two ways to actually get to the champas. The first way I'm showing you is with the gnome tree that you can teleport with. Uh, you just have to teleport to the sh uh, gnome stronghold and once you teleport there you just have to run north like I am right now and towards the end of the stronghold there is a um, agility spot which you have to climb down rocks that um, requires 19 agility I'm pretty sure everyone has 19 agility that's pretty easy to get but there's actually another way to actually get to this spot and in my opinion is actually faster than teleport into the gnome tree and just running north so the second um, way to get there is to teleport to the barbarian assault location and once you are at the barbarian assault you just have to run southwest from there and once you do there's just a little opening at the fence and then you're there so I would recommend just getting a game cycle and teleporting there it's a lot faster in my opinion but you can do either one and these skill chambas are equivalent to a mithril tool as in a pickaxe and a hatchet. The next spot is, I like to call it the ghost town. You will need 4600 to catch these chinchampas. And the first way I'm showing you to get there is the fastest by far. But you will need to complete a quest for the ecto teleport so if you do you just have to run south of this town to get there which is simple and the other way is, it might take a while actually you will have to teleport to the canvas lodestone and run all the way over here to the chinchampas which might take a while and um, these chinchampas are equivalent to an abnet hatchet and a abnet pickaxe The next skill champas you will need 68 hunter to actually hunt these. The only fast way to actually get to the skill champas is to teleport to the Fremnek Providence Lodestone or the Relic Hut Lodestone as I like to call it. And all you have to do is run north and it's really, it's, it's an easy uh, location to get to, no quest requirement for this as well. And these skill champas are equivalent to a rune hatchet and a rune pickaxe. The last skill champas is the crimson skill champas which require 89 hunter and to get to these you just teleport to the bandit camp lodestone and all you have to do is run south from there and in this part of the video I will show you the best spot to actually hunt these crimson champas. Um, surprisingly I was actually 89 hunter when this came out so it was pretty much perfect for me and for the other three skill champas, I don't really know how, or I don't really know where the best spot is for those two champas, but I'm sure um, you guys will figure it out just where they spawn at, and it'll probably be really easy since no one really actually hunts there. For me, at least, I only saw one person. So 
These chinchabos are equivalent to a dragon pickaxe and a dragon hatchet, which is really good. And these chinchabos really give you a lot of XP, 450 experience per catch. And you actually like catch those chinchabos really easily on any of those four chinchabos that I showed, which is really good. And now, after this clip is done, which is really soon, I am showing you guys what the skill chompas do for the four skills, which is uh, divination, woodcutting, mining, and fishing. So the first one's woodcutting. In my opinion, you get the best amount of experience with the skill chompas for woodcutting. And taking um, notice that I do have bonus experience in my uh, woodcutting, so um, that's not the actual experience you get. And for fishing, it's decent. It's better than I expected. You get about 6.5 experience per um, time you try to catch fish. And in my opinion, by far the worst skill you can use the skill champos on is mining. Um, you only get 2.5 bonus experience, which um, to me it's not worth it. And the last one, divination, I think is by far the best for these skill champos since this skill is just really slow in general. So these skill champos give you a 3 to 15 percent chance of getting an enriched, which is crazy good. And I got a lot in my very first inventory of using them here. I will probably use them here. And the bonus XP when you get every cast or every time you try to get a orb is not the greatest, but overall it really helps out with those enriched ones. So this is just a quick guide to showing you guys the skill champos where they're located and the requirements for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you sub to my channel to never miss a video. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. See ya.